An ambush takes place on a convoy of Ukrainian infantry and a vicious firefight follows. Although this is just a simulation taking place at training grounds in the peaceful west of Ukraine, this is just one of many combat scenarios Ukrainian soldiers are training on to hone their battlefield tactics. For this Ukrainian soldier, preferring to go under the nom de guerre Igor, the exercise was about as realistic as one could expect. Exercise Rapid Trident has been an annual event here at the Ukrainian Army Training Ground in Yovariv for the last 20 years but this year saw it combined with Exercise Sabre Guardian, which brought the total number of troops involved to over 1,800 from 18 nations, with the United States as the lead nation. U.S. commanders have noticed a marked difference in the Ukrainians' approach to the exercise. Two years ago, it was good training, um, well done, serious, but relatively routine attitude. Uh, the atmosphere has changed very much from last year and again this year. And you see the Ukrainians put a very, very serious cast on what they're doing. With conflict ongoing in the east, it is perhaps no surprise that the Ukrainian army is using every opportunity to improve. Польза, польза огромнейшая, потому что новые навыки, новая тактика, новые люди, которые по-новому объясняют и рассказывают, как правильно это все делать. То бишь с этого я взял We've been adapting our training um, at the request of the Ukrainians based on their real-world experiences that they have. But the sharing of expertise and tactics is not a one-way street, as the Ukrainians shared their battlefield experiences with other nations involved in the exercise. It was interesting to hear the Ukrainians' stories uh, since they have, a, uh, ha have had a vast experience in uh, urban, urban warfare in the east and uh, the other day as well they show us the actual examples of the uh, IED devices they, they, they find so it's, it's, it's good learning from them. While it may be back to business as usual for many of the nations taking part, for the Ukrainians the fight for peace and stability in the east continues. No one can predict the future but the best way to be prepared is to do exactly what you've done these past two weeks. For NATO Channel in Ukraine this is Lawrence Cameron.